drops to the floor They said it would get easier But I don't know who for Days move faster now I swear I can feel them slip away Good morning guys, it's Charlotte. Welcome back to the vlog. I have to leave my house in four minutes so we are doing a really quick little intro for the vlog today. I'm remote starting my car because it's been frosty every morning there's like frost on my windshield and on my windows and i have to roll my window down when i'm making left turns so i can see if there are any cars coming at me <laughs> anyway so we're remote starting that so i don't have to deal with that today and it can kind of heat up while i am getting ready but good morning like i said today we are doing a work day in my life vlog for the last two weeks i've been doing work weeks in my life and i wanted to just take a little break this week and kind of focus on actually doing as much of my big girl job work as much as I was focusing on my YouTube job work. So today we're just doing the single day in my life. Today is a Tuesday for me. I woke up this morning absolutely convinced it was the weekend and really confused about why my alarm was going off. I was like, what's happening? Like, it's Saturday. Then I was like, no, it's not. It's Thursday. Then I was like, no, it's not. It's Sunday. So I really had no idea what day it was when I woke up this morning. I was super disoriented. But then I realized, no, it's only Tuesday. So that was... A little bit of a rude awakening but it's okay I actually woke up kind of early today I woke up at like 6 45 ish and I was really like fully planning on being early today and then my outfits weren't cooperating I had to change like three had to I did change like three or four times before I actually settled on what I'm wearing but you know that's just the way it goes sometimes Anyway, if you guys are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Charlotte. I am a recent graduate from the University of Michigan. I am now currently a young professional. I just got my big girl job in real estate. I'm doing a marketing manager position for a real estate firm up here in Maine, which is where I'm from. Someone commented on one of my recent videos and they were saying like, oh, you should start calling yourself a young professional. Like that's a great word to use. And I was like, I agree, bestie. Here on the channel, we'll still use the term like big girl and big girl job, but out in like the world, I'll probably start saying stuff like young professional rather than big girl. Cause you know, when you're talking to other professionals, big girl job is not always <laughs> the best phrase. This might be the fastest I've ever gotten ready. I am very proud of myself, but also at the same time, I really need to learn some better morning time management skills, starting with getting the hell off my phone. Anyway, there we go. We are all ready for the day. We are going to throw my stuff in my bag and head out. Okay, the good news is I am not behind. It's 8.22, which is when I usually leave, so I think we're gonna be okay. Here is the fit that I ended up going with. And we are going to head out for the day. Welcome to the vlog. Let's have a productive day. Before we get too far into this video, I just wanted to take a second and tell you guys a little bit about the sponsor of this video, Dossier. I have worked with Dossier a bunch of different times on my channel. You guys know how much I love working with them and how much I love their products. If you're not familiar with Dossier, they're an online retailer that sells perfumes, colognes, and scents inspired by luxury classics. So you could get the exact same perfume that you might get from a luxury brand like Chanel, YSL, Versace, or pretty much any other luxury brand. But with Dossier, you don't have to pay the luxury markup. So while some designer perfumes can go for literally hundreds of dollars, all of Dossier's perfumes start at just $29. So you're saving a ton of money and getting pretty much the exact same perfume. So for October, Dossier sent me two new perfumes that I'm really excited to share with you guys. Every perfume comes in this cutie little box and inside you'll find obviously the perfume and this little info card. On this little info card, you'll have so much useful information, including the name of the perfume, what some of the notes are that you'll be smelling in the perfume, the luxury perfume that it's inspired by, and at the bottom they also have a little bit of information on Dossier's mission, how their company works, and they also have a little bit of information about their return policy. I love that Dossier understands when you're buying a perfume online you obviously can't smell it beforehand so if for whatever reason you get a perfume from Dossier and you don't love the way it smells you can always return it or exchange it for something new. So for October 
here I got two different scents. The first one is called Woody Raspberry. This is inspired by Paco Rabanne's Lady Million Eau de Parfum. This is actually a scent that I got because my best friend Caroline uses the Lady Million perfume and when I saw this on the Dossier website I was like oh my god I could smell just like Caroline if I use this perfume. Anyway let's test out Woody Raspberry and see how this smells. Oh my god this smells so good. This smells like a night out going to a dinner or like getting cocktails with your friends. This just smells like such an elegant, dainty, but still like pulled together type of scent. I could definitely see wearing this to like holiday parties or cocktail parties now that of course I'm a big girl. I also wanted to show you guys the actual perfume packaging. Not only do the scents smell amazing but the bottles are really cute as well. Okay now let's check out the other perfume that Dossier sent over. This one is Fruity Magnolia. This is inspired by Versace's Bright Crystal. So again super cute and chic packaging. Let's see how this one smells oh my gosh this one smells so good too this would actually be a really good scent for fall I'm so glad that I picked this out as an October scent and you guys these smell so similar to the scents that they're inspired by my mom and I went over to Sephora so I could smell a bunch of different perfumes to help me pick out the ones that I wanted to get from Dossier and they always smell exactly the same as the luxury scents that inspire them like they get it so spot-on at Dossier I don't know how they do it so if you guys are interested in checking out Dossier and getting some perfumes to try for yourself I've got a link and a discount code Code for you in the description down below. If you use my code CHARLOTTEPRATT5, you can get 5% off your order at Dossier. And another huge shout out and thank you to Dossier for partnering with me on this video. It's easy to make promises for the young and free. But you kept every word you said and you stayed true to me. We lean into the great beyond. There's more love yet. though I'm about to leave again I just have a bunch of errands that I want to run um, I have like some Amazon returns that I need to make and I have a package that got delivered to my PO box that I want to go check I don't remember ordering anything so we're gonna have a fun time trying to figure out what that package is I very well could have ordered something and forgot that I did it came in over the weekend and now it's Tuesday and I just have been forgetting to go but it's fine, we're gonna go today and I thought it would be fun to go during the vlog. I've also got a sweater that I ordered from Amazon that I need to return. I felt like there was one more thing that I needed to do and it's gonna really piss me off if I get out there and then come all the way back and I remember. Um, I don't remember. It's fine, there's always tomorrow. But you guys, I think I'm settling into my routine, which is super nice. I'm not feeling as tired anymore when I come home from work. My first week, I would come home and just crash. Like I would be so exhausted, I wouldn't be able to do anything. I would just need to like sit and scroll on my phone and not pay attention to anything for like the rest of the day. And now I'm definitely doing a lot better where like I'll come home and I'll have stuff to do or I'll run errands or I'll be reading or like working on my crochet or doing something like, I don't know, more more stimulating than just sitting and being on my phone. So that's been really exciting. Speaking of crochet, I mentioned in my monthly reset vlog for October that I wanna maybe like decorate for fall a little bit. So I've been making these little pumpkins. They're so cute. I need to get something for the stem. I think I just need to like crochet a little stem, but 
Are you joking? Look at how cute. So I'm gonna put these like up on my ladder shelf and maybe like over here on my desk or over there on my dresser, which is super messy from all of the clothes options, like outfit options that I tried on this morning. So anyway, I made one of these over the weekend and then I'm currently in the process of making another one right now. They're just super cute. I worked on that for like a little bit after I got home. It's 4.30 right now. So I've been home for like an hour-ish, like 45 minutes. But anyway, we are going to head out to the car make these Amazon returns and go to my PO box and pick up whatever package is waiting for me. I also have my dance fitness class tonight at six o'clock. My knee has really been hurting, which is concerning because I've never like injured my knee. There's no reason for it to be hurting. I might like put tape on my knee or something just so it doesn't, something doesn't go horribly wrong, you know? Okay, forgive the absolutely abysmal lighting. I'm driving straight into the sun. <laughs> But I remembered the third thing that I wanted to do while I'm out running errands, if I have time. I posted in the most recent, uh, was it the week in my life? I don't even remember. I'm filming like six different videos right now and I'm also trying to film TikToks. So at one point recently, um, I know I talked about it in my October reset vlog. I went to the nail salon to get my nails done and my nail tech gave me two free plants like big plants. Um, so I wanted to go to Lowe's to get pots and soil for them so they can actually live good lives instead of just being in their little like plastic containers that they came in. So it's 4.45. I have to leave my house to get to the gym at 5.45. So we've got an hour. So we might not have time to do that today because I'm going to check my PO box right now and then I have to do my Amazon returns but I need to drive into the city to do that and it's like a 20 minute drive both ways and it's gonna take a little bit of time to actually like do the return so that itself is gonna take like half an hour so I don't know if we're gonna actually make it to Lowe's or not I'm gonna attempt to make it over there but if it's like anything later than like I need to be back home honestly by like 5 35 so i have enough time to like change and get ready so i can leave to make it to the gym on time so maybe we'll go to lowe's after the gym if i run out of time on this portion of my errands this morning really taught me i say this every time i'm late to something i'm like this is it like i'm finally gonna start being on time for things i'm gonna change my ways and then i never do but i'm actually gonna try it's like we're so october just started like I think there's hope for me to change my ways for October. So I'm gonna try and rush less. Like I'm gonna try and leave myself more time to do the things that I need to do. Because I think my problem honestly is just that I underestimate how much time everything is gonna take. So I would rather end up with a little bit of extra time and not like do anything meaningful with that time than be rushing and constantly be stressed because like I'm running late or I feel like I don't have enough time to do everything. Does that make sense? I also totally forgot that it's definitely rush hour and everything I need is on a very major road. We'll just deal with that later. <laughs> Maybe I'll just, I'm not even gonna, okay, new plan. Also, I'm sorry, I also didn't take the plant down. So if that bothers anybody, I forget every time I get in the car and then it's too late because I'm driving, so. I'm, I'm revising my plan. We're going to the P.O. Box first because it's on the way. We're gonna go to Whole Foods to make my Amazon returns and then we're gonna go home, change, go to my gym class, and then from the gym, I'm gonna go to Lowe's and get what I need and then I'll go back home. Rather than trying to squish it all in before I try to go to the gym, there's just not enough time right now. That's my plan. I'm about to pull into the UPS store where I have my P.O. box. I've got the address for that, by the way, is linked in the description. It's in the description of all my videos. So if you're ever looking for my address, that is always down in the description. Side note, I absolutely despise this turn. To get in and out of this store, it's a left turn across two lanes of traffic. And it's so overwhelming and stressful because I'm always scared that I'm, there's gonna be a car that I don't see that's just gonna like smack my car as I'm trying to turn. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, we made it, I lived. <laughs> Let's check my P.O. box and see what the world has for me. Okay, 
I guess, oh, I probably shouldn't show you that. <laughs> we got the package. So it turns out I actually did order this. This is like PR from a company in Michigan. They reached out to me and they were like, hey, we want to send you this. And I was like, yeah, that would be super cool. So that's what this is. I didn't technically order anything, but I forgot that I got this, um, but it's already here. So, oh, this is so cool. This is Celebrate Every Day. It's the Zingerman's Bakehouse cookbook, but Zingerman's Deli and Bakehouse is a super big brand out in Ann Arbor. It's like a staple of like being a college student at Michigan is like going to Zingerman's and oh my god this is so cool they reached out to me last week and they were like hey Charlotte we found your channel online we love all your Michigan content um we're making this cookbook we'd love to send you a copy to like bring a little bit of Ann Arbor back home with you this is so cool oh my god okay so i will find a link to this and i will link it down in the description for you guys if you guys want to get this cookbook i'm they're not paying me to say this i get like no benefit from telling you guys this other than i think this is so cool and the recipes look really really good this is a year's worth of favorite recipes for festive occasions big and small oh this is super cool a huge shout out and thank you to the zingerman's bakehouse team for sending me a copy of this i'm so honored and it's so beautiful wow 75 plus meticulously tested recipes i might have to start making some of these even though i'm terrible at baking Oh my god, that's so cool. My mom is going to be so excited. We are going to head over to Whole Foods in the city to make my Amazon return. I met him on a sunny day in late July and everything turned upside down. I almost lost track of time as weeks went by. I couldn't get him off my mind. I told him I want that great love. Like standing in the middle of a bonfire. You don't know how you got there, but you hold tight. Knowing that you can't get burned. We made it back just in time. Here's the fit for dance class tonight. And it's 5.51, so we're heading out again. Thank God I didn't try to go to Lowe's. lost track of everything but each other. Other didn't wanna let you go. Oh, oh, oh. Cause we wanted different things and I have to do with it. But it's not easy. So tell me how to let go. Cause you really seem to know how to carry on on your own. Ever since I got a good look in his eye. We made it back home. I just got out of the shower. I'm feeling so refreshed and cozy. I just started using some new skincare products, which I'm really loving. So I've been using this Neutrogena Hydro Boost water gel for, I don't know, probably like a month, maybe a month and a half at this point. This stuff is so good. It feels like putting water on your face, which I love because I hate the feeling of using like a cream product. It just, I don't know, it makes me feel yucky. But then because I loved that moisturizer so much, I added this Neutrogena Hydro Boost. This is a hydrating serum. So it's from like the same line as the moisturizer. It's just like the serum that you put on and then you put on your moisturizer. And this stuff is also really good. I've used this twice, I think, and I'm just obsessed with it. Like it works so well. Here are my credentials. <laughs> my skin has been cooperating very nicely since I've been using those products. So if anyone needs any recommendations, I know I was just looking for skincare recommendations, but um, those two, and that's literally... That's it. I wash my face with this La Roche Posay Gentle Foaming Moisturizing Wash. So I just wash my face with this in the shower. And then I put these two on afterwards. And I just feel like so refreshed and so hydrated. Anyway, I went to my dance class. It was so fun. I ended up taping my knee and it felt better. So I think I'm just going to start taping my knee and like icing it. The gym that I go to does offer physical therapy. So I might do like a preliminary consultation. I've been in and out of physical therapy for years because of an injury that I had back in high school that was like horrible. So I've been to physical therapy before, but I've never gone for my knee. So I'll keep you guys updated on that front, maybe. But the, anyway, after I got out of my gym class, then I went over to Lowe's and I spent way too much money. I swear to God, I should have filmed a, like what I spend in a week this week because I've just been spending ridiculous amounts of money the last two days. I don't even know what's going on. I'm just like, I can't stop. 
spending money. <laughs> I just spent like almost $200 at Target getting stuff to decorate my desk. I had to pay my gym membership. Then I also bought a $60 bracelet. And then I just bought all of these plants. I just bought a bunch of stuff on Amazon. Like I just cannot stop spending money. So it's becoming a problem. So anyway, I brought the pots for my plants. I'm hoping that'll be like my last big purchase for a while. So I haven't put any soil in them yet just because it's late and I want to go to bed. But I got two different ones because there are two different plants. For the one that's close to my mirror right here, I got this little like white I don't know it's got like ridges on it it's kind of fun it's got this like fake um like cement texture so I like that one a lot and then for the one over here by my door I got this fun geometric pattern pot and I got this one because it matches with two other pots in my room so I've got this one here I've got a super small version there on my ladder shelf, and then I've also got the medium size one over here on my desk, so. Now there's like a motif of that pot in my room, which I think is really cool. Anyway though, you guys, we had a very full day today, lots going on, so I am going to end the vlog right here. My dinner is downstairs in the microwave waiting for me, so I'm going to go chow down and watch some TV and unwind for the day. If you guys enjoyed coming along with me on this little work day in my life, make sure you leave a like on it for me down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We've got lots more work content, professional content, routine content coming super soon, so stay tuned for all of that, but that is it for this one. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. So let us dance this night away.